Before I start, if you like this video, please subscribe. Who would have thought, only 10 years ago, thinking or even having an electric car was a remote possibility? Tesla was about to launch Roadster and talks of electric car revolution was just crazy talk. As the saying goes, one swallow doesn't make a spring, well in this case one swallow or 2500 Tesla Roadsters indeed means spring for electric cars. Four years after Tesla Roadster was launched, production of Tesla Model S started and the rest is history. Today over a million electric cars are being driven on our roads. All EU car makers plan to go completely electric by 2025 and even some of the most unexpected countries are turning their backs on petrol cars. India plans to go all electric by 2030. You could say electric car revolution has truly taken place and there is no going back. Electric cars are here to stay. Electric cars, electric trucks and lorries, electric bikes, why not electric planes? Imagine a world where pollution is a thing of the past. Bioplastics that degrade within weeks of being used. Fossil fuels a thing of the past. Nature that is clean of toxic and environmental waste created by an incessant human consumption of natural resources. And above in our skies fly electric planes that do not pollute air we breathe. The fact the things are moving in the right direction can be seen on a daily basis. Once most polluting segment of mass transport might soon also join the electric revolution. And things do look encouraging. In not too distant future, electric planes will be the next big thing. Recently, EasyJet and US based startup Rise Electric agreed to develop first commercial passenger aircraft capable of 540 km range, powered purely with electric propulsion. The company Wright Electric hopes to have passenger aircraft ready by 2030, with EasyJet keen to operate 150 such aircraft within a decade from first electric aircraft service entry. Although it is not clear if Wright Electric is working on a new battery technology, or it tends to use current battery technology. Problem with the current battery technology, although improving with each passing year, is power density, with current battery achieving barely half of what is required for a passenger aircraft. The issue with existing batteries is they suck, Elon Musk famously said. A technology entrepreneur, in all his eloquence, has a point. How often has your smartphone died halfway through the day? or your laptop screen fades to black during a meeting. Battery power density is critical. The need to keep weight down without sacrificing range, power makes energy density the all important figure. Right now, the specific energy of battery is roughly 2 to 3% that of liquid fuel. Factor in the efficiency of electric powertrains compared to internal combustion engine brings efficiency close to 7%. So 1000 kg of jet fuel yields about 14 times more energy than a 1000 kg battery. Battery energy density is rising by not negligible 2 to 3% per year. Tesla's cars go further with each iteration. It is not the same ballpark as Moore's law progress because it's chemistry, not electronics, but it's still very good. Besides, batteries don't need to match liquid fuel pound for pound to catch on. If it can get f to five times its current density, that will be 1000 watts per kilogram. It will work for small scale commercial aviation. That is 1000 watt hours kilogram number reflects the approximate equivalent one third the energy density of gasoline. Factoring the relative difference in efficiency of the powertrains that we can expect batteries to be good enough to power small aircraft. However, future electric aircraft design will look nothing like the aircraft of the day and they will be able to fly with much less energy 
as little as 500 watt hour per kilogram thanks to distributed motors and reduced drag. Aircraft will be designed around electric motors and achieving battery density won't be as crucial with new aerodynamic design. 500 watts per kilogram density could enable small passenger aircraft envisaged by Wright Electric. Some companies won't wait for battery technology to achieve parity power density with the jet fuel. They are looking at alternatives and three European giants have announced partnership to develop hybrid passenger aircraft by 2030. One that will replace Airbus Neo family of aircraft sometimes in mid 2030s. Airbus, Siemens and Rolls-Royce are developing new jet around revolutionary e-turbines which are powered by electric batteries in combination with the jet fuel. The e-thrust and e-fan technology was unveiled late last year. The technology fully developed should reduce carbon emission by 75% per flight and come near what electric plane promises to be. Perhaps until battery density is developed that allows for electric passenger aircraft, hybrid aircraft might be the way to go. Higher power density in current lithium ion battery technology also carries higher safety risk, including combustion. And so limit of 500 watts per kilogram is the limit with the current technology. Solid state battery might be the way to go. However, the technology is still in its infancy and very expensive. Although VW Group and BMW Group are keen on the technology and are investing heavily in research and development. The large scale manufacturing and utilization of solid state battery technology is several decades away. In the meantime, hybrid aircraft propulsion, at least for now, seems most plausible solution. However, don't expect to see hybrid aircraft in our skies anytime soon. The technology is still in its infancy, with Airbus not even hinting when they'll be rolling out first hybrid aircraft. However, with Airbus Neo or new engine option aircraft rolling out as we speak, hybrid aircraft might be the next thing in Airbus lineup, replacing Airbus A320 Neo family sometimes in mid 2030s. However, don't despair. The battery technology is evolving with each passing year and perhaps within the next few decades we'll achieve all important breakthroughs in battery technology, enabling truly zero emission flights.